Hello everyone, I am Reaper the Inkling. Today I'm going to react to another revolution. Remember, remember last time I watched, I reacted to the revolution of Venom. So this time I'm going to do the rev, what I react to is the revolution of Candyman. If you don't know what Candyman is, Candyman is actually a vengeful ghost spirit who actually died. And if you say his his name like three or five times, he was he will appear and kill. You and plus, and this, I actually did see the first one. One they actually tell the origin story, how, how he, how Candyman was born. Let's go. Right. Born the son of a slave, Daniel Robitaille, mm -hmm. a renowned artist, fell in love with and impregnated his subject Caroline. When her father found out, he hired a yep. lynch mob to beat Daniel, slice off his right hand, and yep. cover him in honey, giving him his titular name, Candyman. He was then stung to death. Bees. And then, now, whenever his name is spoken five times, yeah, yeah, five mirror, times. His ghostly apparition violently yep, appears. Yeah, that's how Candyman is. This is the evolution is. of Candyman's looks and lore. Animated. In the first film, Candyman sports a white dress shirt, hmm. matching neck scarf, yep. checkered pants, yeah, and I did, signature bulky trench. Yeah, I did, did see the first one. I actually watched it on Netflix. I found like I really liked the fuzzy brown collar and yeah. cuffs. Where his right hand used to be now sits a nailed in hook. Ooh. And that same arm appears yeah. strangely long. Yeah, I really like the design of the first Candyman. I feel like the design is real nice. Can exude bees from his various yeah, orifices, saw that part too. And also has a Dracula like trance power. Mm -hmm. He's called on by grad student Helen Lyle, who may or may not be his past lover reincarnated. But yeah. nonetheless, he proceeds to hypnotize her and kill her associates. That's true. Eventually, he kidnaps a baby to lure Helen mm -hmm. in hopes that she'll join him in legend. But she nope. instead stabs him with a fiery stake, which explodes him into bees, allowing Helen to save the baby, although and she too succumbs to the fire. True. But she, like Candyman, can now also appear as an apparition with a burned yep. head, red lips, a white hospital gown, and she's holding Candyman's hook, essentially making her the, the Candy, Candy Woman. Woman. In Candyman Farewell to the Flesh, Candyman's okay. dress shirt and scarf Never are now blue, one. his pants darker, uh -huh. his trench coat is less bulky with an added shoulder covering, and the collar and cuffs are no longer puffy. Oh, I like the puffy time, coat. He's summoned by his great-great-granddaughter. And who he oh. foolishly shows in flashbacks that his soul was apparently imprinted on a mirror prior to his death. Oh, and never, to destroy it would kill him. So never seen that part. The mirror, which shatters him like glass. Whoa. In Candyman 3, Day of the Dead, Candyman's coat reincorporates the puppy cuffs and collar. Oh. He's double-breasted and lacks the shoulder coverings. While his dress shirt is lighter, uh -huh. his neck piece is darker, and his hook is more angular. Ooh. In this film, his great-great-great-granddaughter, Caroline, stupidly summons him. But when she destroys his self-portrait, he's that's a blaze and explodes huh. because okay. apparently evil needs good to exist and his paintings were his um, good or whatever this I, makes no sense. I don't so, understand uh, that Ignoring okay. the previous sequel's events, the latest film oh, introduces doing the a one. new Candyman, Sherman Fields. He wears okay. a yellow trench coat with a puffy white hmm. lapel, beige pants, and Aye. his prosthetic split hook hand. Aye, Sherman, that's nice. alive, gave out candy Aww. to local children, but he was falsely accused of adding razor blades what? to the candy, and then beaten to death by the police. Aww. Now, when that's undead, he appears back in a more classic-looking look. At him. In this film, Anthony McCoy, uh -huh. the baby from the first film, no way. now an artist himself, becomes okay. obsessed with Candyman's history and summons him. But after being stung by a bee, what? a honeycomb-like rash crawls off his body. His oh. right eye appears cloudy, and he becomes nearly catatonic, allowing a Candyman believer to chop off his hand mm -hmm. and replace it with a hook. This Anthony Candyman wears an artist jumpsuit and uh -huh. a plaid trench coat. After ah. he's wrongfully <laughs> shut down by the police, his girlfriend summons him the usual way, and the now undead Anthony takes revenge on the racist wow. cops, turning him into a more superhero-like Candyman for the black community. Notably, his reflection sometimes appears as other unseen candy okay. men can also shapeshift into Daniel mm. Robitaille. Uh, but either way you slice it, all of these candy men are much different than the original novella that okay. describes him as a disheveled man with yellowish skin, huh. which would probably work much better for a Simpson parody. Yeah, like, yeah, the Simpsons can do that for Halloween special Tree House of Horrors when, like, you know, uh, Willy becomes candy man. Thank you for watching this horror animation, and thank you to all... Anyway, guys, that was the video. Well, I think the I think, you know, the best Candyman I really, really liked is actually the first one. Like, I really liked the, the design of him. And, of course, I think I liked, and also I liked the reboot, too, of the Candyman. So, anyway, guys, which Candyman is your favorite? Anyway, guys, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed this. Actually, if you comment below what video you want right next, subscribe to me.
subscribe to Tele Animations, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Candyman, 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 Candyman.